Hey y'all, so I'm in the house today. I'm going to be doing a project on my own this weekend until Tommy and I start our pergola build outside. And it's going to be a project in our guest room. Now, currently the only guest we ever have is our granddaughter, but it is technically our guest room. And so we're trying to keep a neutral palette in there so that it's not just a pink girly room for when our granddaughter comes. Let me show you what I'm working with. So I haven't cleaned up since the last time she was here and there's some toys everywhere. Um, the walls have not been taped and textured this window here hasn't been replaced yet this one has been but it hasn't been trimmed out this wall still needs sheetrock and then we have the plywood floor what i intend to do is to paint the plywood floor I've picked a gray color. I can't remember what it is right now, but I got it at Lowe's. I'm going to take everything out of this room, stick it in the living room, and prime it with kills first, and then I'm going to paint it the gray color. Whether or not I finish this in one weekend or not, I don't know. But I'm going to try. This wall also has not been sheetrocked. But anyway, I'm confident that the work Tommy still has to do in here isn't going to mess up the floors that I paint. If he does anything that would mess up the floors, I guess I'll just have to put another coat on there. So let me get this room emptied and then we'll get to painting. Okay, I have gotten everything out of the room except the bed. And I'm not going to try to take that apart to get it out of here by myself. So we're going to work around it. Next step is to sweep and vacuum every crack and crevice. So there's no dirt or dog hair or whatever toddlers leave behind. In full disclosure... It may take me several days to get this project done, but I'm okay with that. We're in no big hurry. So while I'm sweeping, I'm already finding that we didn't take up all the nails from the carpet tack. So I'm going to have to go get something to pull those up with. Some of the heads are all messed up, so those are going to be hard to get out. Might need Thomas help on this one, but it looks like we skipped all the nails on this wall. Problem number two is the sheetrock that they had put in. They put it down below the plywood and when we removed the sheetrock we just kind of broke it off here so I'm gonna have to go get a tool to cut all of that off even with the floor I guess. So let me get that done and I'll be back.
going to take this paintable caulk and I'm going to fill in all of these gaps where the pieces of, where the sheets of plywood meet. joints have been caulked now I'm going to let those dry and I'll probably be back tomorrow or the next day okay so it's been about 48 hours all of the caulk is dry it's a clear caulk so it dried clear you can't see it and now I'm about to put the kills down as I said before I can't move that bed out of here. So I've just moved it up against the wall. When this side is dry, I'll move the bed over here and do that little part there. Shouldn't take that long.
Okay, as you can see, I got it all covered except that one small section over there under the bed. And I will move the bed over tomorrow and get that part finished. I'm gonna let this dry for about 24 hours. I just poured it on the floor and then spread it out with the roller. No big deal. And I used about a half can of Kills. Did I say that already? I'm tired. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow. I have now painted the entire floor. It's all done. Bed got moved over to here. I fixed a couple of spots where apparently there was gum stuck to the floor or something. You can't see it anymore. Um, but anyway, so now I'm ready to put the gray on. A color I never thought I'd use in my house because it's too prison-like for me. But hopefully we're going to like it in this room. So anyway, let's get started on the gray paint. The color of paint that I chose is a Valspar gray flannel. And this is the por porch and floor paint. Porch and floor. I'm gonna give this a good stir. And we get started painting. kind of see the color. There is the first coat of the gray flannel. We'll be back tomorrow to finish the part where the bed is. Okay, well we are done. 
We are done painting the gray flannel on this plywood floor. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Now in the future, I may stencil something on here, but I'm not gonna do that until Tommy finishes with the sheetrock and replaces the prison window to that kind of window. Um, that's coming soon. We have the four windows in the garage. He just needs to put them in, but he's busy building a pergola. So anyway, I am very happy with this makeover. It's a very economical way of making a floor look a whole lot nicer. We may in the future go ahead and do wood floors in here, but for now, this is gonna make it a lot more pleasant for our guests. It's easier to sweep this way too. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get all the furniture put back in here and give you all a final shot of what it looks like with furniture in here. But thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and help Tommy and I get to a thousand subscribers. And here it is with all her things back in here. I'm sure it's probably hard for everyone to imagine what the room is going to look like once it has sheetrock back on the walls and real curtains and not a sheet tied up and that window's replaced but this was about the floors and I am super super happy with the way these turned out so if you guys are considering trying this in your house, I don't think you'll regret it. Remember, I didn't sand these floors down or anything, so you will see. I don't know if the camera catches that. Little things like this, but in our rustic design of our house, this just adds charm to it. Looks like a little painted porch floor. I think it's going to turn out really cute once we're completely finished. So again, thank you guys for watching, and y'all have a good night.